Do you love money and enjoy helping other people? Then you should consider becoming a financial advisor where you earn some serious money helping other people manage their finances. Let's go. A financial advisor does exactly that, advising individuals or entities on their finances and sometimes managing it for them on their behalf. While doing research for this job, I saw many listings for six figures and higher, depending on the experience and types of credentials the individual has. So how do you become a financial advisor? Well, the first step is typically recommended is getting a bachelor's degree in either accounting, finance, economics, or business administration. And depending on your company and level of experience, it's sometimes recommended to go back to school and get a master's degree in these fields as well. The next step is getting a job at a firm that will sponsor you to get your license. Now, sometimes these firms want people fresh out of college so they can mold them into being financial advisors that they want them to be. Other times, these firms want people with previous experience as a financial advisor so they don't have to spend time training them. In the end, it really doesn't matter, but as long as you have good communication skills and sales skills, you'll be fine. There are five licenses that you can get, but the most common is the Series 7 license. Now, after passing this exam and getting your license, you can become a stockbroker or a securities trader. Now, I'll be putting the rest of the licenses on the screen right now, but essentially, the different licenses are based on the types of products and or services you want to sell. After passing your exam, it's pretty common for you to go through the standard paperwork and background checks that everybody has to go through once they enter a financially related field. Also, it's pretty common for you to be under the supervision of a fully licensed broker as your information is processed and you start to learn the ropes about your new company and what, what it's really about. The next and biggest step is getting a book of business. Now, a book of business for anybody in a sales related field is essentially people that will help you get business by recommending you to their friends and family. So you know, this could be friends, family, people at your church, from people from high school, people at the gym, anybody and everybody you know that knows what you do and can recommend your services to other people, right? You can be like, hey, I've known Dan for 10, 15 years. That entire time he's been my financial advisor. We've done great. He's an excellent worker. He's kind, he's dedicated, always answers the phone. If you need help with your finances, call Dan and then they recommend your service to, to everybody that they know, and you can get more business based off of helping other people. And it should continue to grow and increase in size as time goes on. There are many things you need to know about being a financial advisor, but one of the biggest things is you're gonna deal with a lot of rejection, right? Especially in the beginning, you're gonna get a lot of more no's than yeses. This is common with any sales job. It's okay, it's going to happen. People might not be interested. You might have caught them at a bad time. You might just be a bad day for them. They might have someone else they're working with, or they could just be jerks. You have no idea. So just expect it, be okay with it. Use this time to tweak your pitch and make it stronger and learn how to deal with the different types of people. And over time, more of these no's will become yeses. The other big thing is follow up, right? Sometimes people will be like, yeah, definitely I wanna work with you. And two months goes by and you call them again. Yeah, I wanna work with you. Two months go by. So you have to keep following up with people, right? There's a saying that the squeaky wheel gets the grease, right? If you just squeak once, no one will care. But if you continue to come back to them, not being annoying, not calling them seven times a week, but maybe once every two weeks, once every month, once every two months, right? They'll constantly have you in the back of their head. And when they actually need financial advice, when that time comes, they'll call you. And all of your work, maybe 20 phone calls in total will be worth it because now you'll have a client for X amount of years, maybe all their friends and family, who knows. Other things to know about being a financial advisor is that it can be stressful at times because you're dealing with people's money, their livelihood, right? This is the money that they've been accumulating for 30, 40, even 50 years. So if they get emotional when it comes to these types of conversations, don't take it personal. It's a big deal for them. Just take a step back, be professional, be courteous, be understanding, and you should be good. Another thing to know is that this job can be cyclical, right? There are good years, good months, good days, and bad years, bad months, and bad days. These things happen. As long as you prepare, you should be good. And the last thing is that there's tons of room for promotion and moving up as a financial advisor. So there's that to look forward to. And yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully that answered all of your questions, but if you do have any more, put them in the comments down below. And with that, I'm Evan. And thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.